Mr. President, although we are in an emergency condition, it, I almost wish that this vote this afternoon were taking place uh, a week from now after the President's Day recess so that the senators who have voiced opposition, and I take them at their word, and I certainly uh, uh, respect their right to disagree, and I respect them, and almost all the senators in this chamber uh, know how much this senator enjoys them personally. But I almost wish that this vote were being taken a week and a half from now, after the recess, after senators have gone home to their states and looked into the eyes of their people and understood the pain and the anguish that is going on across America and how much people are depending on us, the United States government, to stop the downward spiral of our economy and to try to get it righted and going back up the other way. And in the meantime, as that attempt is being done, and it's going to take some time, we hear every economist in the world say it's going to be at least a year, if not two or three years, that in the meantime, our people are hurting. And we hear every day these stories. Now, this senator is going to do scores of town hall meetings all across Florida next week. And I know what I'm going to hear. It's what I've been hearing every weekend when we go home. It's these horror stories, these impossible economic stories of people who have worked hard and played by the rules and done everything right and they lose their job, they lose their home, they get upside down in an economic condition, and they don't have any hope. And so it's almost as if I wish that this final passage vote was coming so senators who have expressed an opinion about voting against this legislation which fortunately there will be a vast majority of at least 60 in this chamber with not all the senators present today because I don't think that the health of Senator Kennedy is going to allow him to return to the chamber. So at least 60 of the chamber's senators are going to be voting for it. But there will be a substantial number, at least 37 in this United States Senate that will vote against it. If they could hear the stories, they'd understand why there is $120 billion in this bill in investments in infrastructure and science, and $14 billion for health, and $106 billion for education and training, and energy, $30 billion in energy infrastructure and helping direct economic health to those hit hardest by the economy of $24 billion and helping law enforcement, $7.8 billion. My state is one of the states that's been the hardest hit. We are second only to California in the total number of foreclosures of homes. You wonder why did the president go to Fort Myers earlier in the week? The Fort Myers area is the highest foreclosure rate area in the entire country. And people who are getting laid off there, there is no economic opportunity for them to find another job. And out of this stimulus bill, just this bill, with the spending and the tax cuts, 
some $10 billion is going to go to my state. It's going to be for road building. It's going to be for health care. It's going to be for classrooms and teachers. It's going to be for food stamps. It's going to be for unemployment compensation. It's going to be for Medicaid. Look at the human face. Our people are hurting and they need help. And of that amount that's going to Florida, $4.3 billion is going to help people who have lost their jobs to keep their health insurance. Can you imagine the trauma of a breadwinner that loses the job, and that's traumatic enough, but then not to be able to afford health insurance for his family, especially if there's a, a traumatic Injury in that family. And in that amount of $4.3 billion going to Florida, it's going to provide health care for the poor. This is what I'm talking about, Mr. President. This is compassionate assistance that in an economic downward spiral that only the government can provide. Specifically in Florida, this bill is going to create or save 206,000 jobs. Nationwide, it's going to be somewhere between 3 and 4 million jobs that it's going to create or save. Over a million do jobs have already been lost since the first of last year. But there are several million more that are going to be lost in this country if we don't do anything. So this stimulus bill is designed to create three to four million jobs that will, in fact, take up that slack of what otherwise would have been lost and has been lost. This bill is uh, going to provide $800 for a family, and that's going to provide almost 7 million workers and their families just in the state of Florida. 7 million are going to be eligible for the making work pay tax cut of up to $800. And just in Florida, this bill is going to make 195,000 families eligible for a new tax credit to make college affordable. Almost 200,000 in Florida alone available to have the tax credit for college. And for those out of work that are getting unemployment insurance benefits, there's going to be an additional $100 in my state to 761,000 people, 761,000 workers in Florida who have lost their jobs in this recession are going to get a little bit more help in unemployment compensation. And in addition, what this bill is going to do for my state of Florida is that it's going to give funding sufficient to modernize 485 schools in my state so our children are going to have labs and classrooms and libraries that they need to get ready to compete globally in the 21st century. And then in addition, this thing is going to help transform our economy in our state, in Florida alone, by doubling the renewable energy generating capacity over the next three years, it's going to create enough renewable energy in Florida to power six million homes. And we're going to be able to computerize every American's health record in five years and look what that's going to save Floridians. And we're going to be able to enact Significant. The senators use 10 minutes. And Mr. President, if I can have unanimous consent for 30 additional seconds, I'll conclude my thought. Without objection. And we are going to.
provide the most significant expansion in tax cuts for low and moderate income households ever, and that's going to occur right in the state of Florida. We're going to increase the investment in roads and bridges and mass transits. We need all of this in Florida. This is stimulus. This is providing jobs. This is helping people in need. This is the right thing to do for Florida. Mr. President, I yield the floor.